For male pericare, I'd start by gathering my supplies. So linens from the linen closet, sanitizing my hands, four washcloths and a towel. Then I can go to the resident room, knock on the door. Hi Leah, I'm Myra, I'm gonna be your CNA for the day. I'm gonna just wash up your bottom. Usually if you say pericare to a resident, they don't always understand. So that's a little bit easier way to explain. So I explain the procedure. I'm gonna provide for privacy and wash my hands. And then I'm gonna put the side rail up and the side away from me because he'll be rolling to his backside to finish washing. I'm gonna raise your bed up to my working height. We take his basin and get some warm water there. Have him test the water with his hand or put a washcloth in the water and put that on the back of his hand if he doesn't have that mobility. Get my gloves on. And put all four washcloths in the water. And then we're just going to expose the part that we're washing. And you can also bring a bath blanket and cover that person or use their own blanket if that's more comfortable for them. We're going to get a towel down so we keep the bed dry. If the resident can lift their hips that's easiest, but you can also help by just lifting underneath their knee. And keeping them covered. So when performing pericare, we're very worried about infection control with the E. coli from the rectum. We do not want that to get into the urethra because that can travel up the urethra and cause a bladder infection. So we want to be very sure about what part of the washcloth we've used. As I put soap over the entire washcloth, I'm going to fold that into four and then keep my thumb at the corner so that will allow me to use different areas of the washcloth, but then I know I haven't reused the same area. So with the male, I'm going to start right at the urethra. If the male is uncircumcised, I'm gonna bring the foreskin back and I'm gonna start right at the urethra and I want to cover as much surface area as I can. So I'm gonna kind of go in a circular motion. So I make sure that I get the scrotum clean. And when I get down towards the rectum, I'm gonna take my washcloth and turn it over to another area. So again, I'm gonna make sure that I get the groin folds and underneath the scrotum. And every time I get to the rectum, take another area of the cloth. Okay. And make sure we get everything. So once I've used that, I'm gonna put that right in the linen bag because we don't want that to be used again. And I'll take the rinse washcloth. Again, it's folded in four. I have my thumb at the corner so I can lift those edges. So again, I'll keep the foreskin back, start at the urethra, and cover as much of the skin as I can. When I get to the rectum, new area of the washcloth. Make sure I get the groin fold and the other groin fold. Doing okay, Lee? So I'll put that in the linen bag and then I can just use this towel to dry. So lots of areas of skin folds. So we wanna make sure that you get the back side of your hand there to get that dry. Okay, and then again, if the person was not circumcised, we wanna bring the foreskin back over at this point. It can be uncomfortable for the person if that's left back. Um, just kind of irritating. Okay, I'll cover you back up. And then Lee, I'm gonna have you roll onto your left side. So using the lift sheet, I'm gonna have you move towards me on three. One, two, three. 
going to move your arm out and then we're going to roll onto your left side. One, two, three. Okay, I'll keep the back side covered. I'll have you grab the side rail. I still have my towel here. I'm going to just expose the area that I need to wash. So again, we want to think about infection control and going from clean to dirty. So we want to keep anything from the rectum away from the urethra in front. So we're always going to go away from that urethra. So I will get soap on my washcloth. Hold it in four again. Put my thumb at the corner so I can lift those edges up. So if I'm still going from urethra towards the rectum and clean to dirty, I want to start on the outside of the buttocks. Flip my washcloth over. Go to the other side. Flip my washcloth over. And then wipe the middle as many times as needed. If the person has had a bowel movement, um, you can always use disposable wipes. It's a little bit easier than using multiple washcloths. But I'm going to throw that right back into the linen bag so it doesn't get used again. And then I'll rinse in the same manner. And again, you should be looking for any skin issues. The coccyx is the main area that people will develop pressure ulcers. So we want to make sure that we're observing that carefully. So again, urethra towards the rectum, the outside of the buttocks, and then the middle. Still going in that same direction away from the urethra. Put that into the linen bag. And we're going to pat dry. Again, lots of skin folds on the back side and a high area or high risk area for skin breakdown. We want to make sure we get all that moisture out of there. Everything feeling okay, Lee? Good. So I'm going to put the towel into the linen bag. If the resident is okay on the side for a minute, I've just performed pericare and I have E. coli on my gloves, so I'm going to change my gloves quickly or just dispose of my gloves sanitize my hands if they're okay on their side. If not, you could just lay them onto their back and then do this before you start touching anything else in the room. So we'll use the lift sheet and roll them back onto their back. Okay, we'll get you comfortable here. Okay, you laying okay? All right, we're gonna lower the bed. Okay, we'll get the side rail down on the other side. Here's your call light. Make sure the bed is locked. Get the linen, dirty linens off the bed. I'll open up your curtain again. And then when I dispose or wash my basin, I want to put gloves on again because I did peri care. There's likely E. coli in the basin, so I'll put gloves on again, bring that to the sink, dump it out, wash it with soap, rinse it and dry it and put it back where the resident keeps it. We got the bed lowered, then I would wash my hands and then report any skin or pain concerns to the nurse.